Good afternoon, Terry here at Two Rooster Farm. Uh, it's a snow day. Uh, it's a Saturday, which is a good thing, so people don't have to work and the kids can get outside and enjoy the snow. Uh, it's uh, snowed. Look out my kitchen window, you can sort of see it snowed about three or four inches. And so, because I'm inside, I went out this morning to uh, let the chickens out and give them their food, and there's no way that they were wanting to go out in that white stuff, even though I spread a bunch of, spread I spread the snow around so it was patted down so they weren't like walking in this deep snow. They didn't like it. So, and the water is frozen. It's not a fun time to have chickens because uh, they don't like to go outside. They don't, uh, the water is freezing. So I've been having to take milk jugs of water out there and uh, put their water inside so at least they have some water to drink. And I had to put most of their, their food inside this morning in, in their containers so it's kind of crowded in there for them but at least they're a little bit warmer. And uh, I'm going to make, uh, because I'm inside, staying warm, I'm going to make, uh, it's called Clone of the Cinnabon. So it's sort of like, um, I don't know if you those franchises called Cinnabons where they had the cream cheese and melted everything on it and I'm going to be using my uh, bread maker which normally I used to use this a lot um, I don't use it so much anymore it's basically my pizza dough maker and my cinnamon bun recipe because I like to make my my own um, bread by hand so right now it's in the dough section oh, and I'm also making cookies <laughs> Hey, go, go, turn off timer. Yeah, so. So here I am, I'm putting my ingredients into my bread maker. You always start with the liquid first. So this is a one cup of warm milk. Make sure it's not too hot. You don't want to kill your yeast. And one third cup of uh, unsalted butter. It says margarine, but I don't know. Who uses margarine? I don't use margarine <laughs> anymore. And it does say, it says melted, but um, I did not and everything worked fine. And then we are going to add two room temperature eggs. Make sure that they are room temperature. And now we can start adding our dry ingredients. It's one teaspoon of salt, half a cup of white sugar, and four and a half cups. And oh, lovely, just spilled everywhere. <laughs> four and a half cups of, and it says bread, bread machine or bread flour. Um, I didn't have bread flour. Um, I guess it would, the consistency might be a little bit better, but really, um, they were really good. So use whatever you have. Um, this is just plain old white flour. So four and a half cups of white flour. And lastly, you're going to be adding your yeast. And I added three teaspoons of yeast. I'm gonna close it up. I did clean off the, the sides there, and we're going to set it to the dough cycle. So number eight is the dough cycle. It takes uh, You push the button, and it takes a little while. I think it takes about 15 minutes before it actually starts to uh, uh, rotate there. So set it here to uh, cycle eight. Push the button. I think it's one. The whole cycle will be complete. I think it's one hour, and I think it was 30 minutes. And here it is uh, starting to form. We're just going to get ready to spread the dough out when it's done. And we're going to mix two and a half tablespoons of cinnamon with one cup of packed brown sugar. Mixed up. I'm just looking inside, it's rising nicely, it has another 12 minutes and then I can take it out and roll it out. And we're going to lightly oil this 
9 by 13 grasp baking dish here. Dough is ready. It's doubled nice. Okay. And we're going to put it into a 16 by 21 inch rectangle. So it's all spread out nicely and now we're going to spread one third cup of unsalted butter all over top and then we're going to sprinkle it with our brown sugar cinnamon mixture. So it should be really soft but it's cold in the kitchen here so I might just have to spread it around and then make sure that all the areas are covered. I'll be back at the next step. Spread in the last little bit of butter, making sure that all the surface is covered. And then we're going to sprinkle our sugar cinnamon. Here, I'm just kind of smoothing out a bit. Now we just need to roll this up into a long roll here, a long log gradually. And it says to cut into 12. So you can see the whole thing. 12 even pieces. And then put them into your greased baking dish. And you're going to put them in a warm spot. And you're going to let them rise for 30 minutes. So I'm just going to cut it in half. go all even pieces and then we're going to place them into the grease baking dish here.
cover them and let them rise for 30 minutes. Okay, so while, get down here so you can see me. While we're waiting for our cinnamon buns to rise, we're gonna prepare the cream cheese icing that you put on when, once you've finished baking your uh, cinnamon buns, you take them out of the oven and while they're still warm, you spread this cream cheese icing on top. So good. Anyway, so it calls for one and a half cups of confectioner's sugar or icing sugar is what I call it. <laughs> quarter cup of unsalted butter, you need an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, And cream cheese uh, calls for a three ounce package. Well, I have an eight ounce package, so half of that would you know, is four ounces. So I'm just going to use um, just under a half. Start slow. Set the oven to four oops, bake. Four hundred degrees. All right, so. Here they are, and it's definitely been way over a half hour. It said they were supposed to double in size, and I know I said 30 minutes, but it was a good hour and a bit. They're supposed to be um, three quarters. Um, they say not completely doubled, but three quarter. And I think that's about right. And so the oven is up to temperature, and I'm gonna put them in the oven for 15 minutes. out of the oven. I cooked them a little bit longer than 15 minutes because I didn't think that they were brown enough on top. So probably, depending on your oven, between 15 and 20 minutes. I'm gonna let them cool a little bit before I put on the cream cheese icing. Hey, Rupert. All right, I think these are cool enough to be able to ice in them. Mm. Wow, very good, you're really gonna like it. Normally the chickens would come running over to me 
they're not liking the snow.